G'day guys. This is um, the quick change tool post on my new lathe. Um, I have a little issue with it. The this locking arm. I'm unhappy with the way it's always out, and it's. I prefer it to come down a bit further. Um, it's very short reaction and I'd prefer it, like I said, around a little bit further. Now I've stripped this down and the, it is a preset cam inside. I can do one of two things. I can either drill another hole and tap for the handle or what I'm thinking, I'm going to take these, this plate off and put it on my surface grinder and just take a little bit off um, so that it's a little bit narrower and the cam will take a bit. Because also if I come around this way and I want to put it on this way, I've virtually got to come, once again, that's it. Even though I do that way, it's such a little, it doesn't feel like it latches in really nice and tight. So, I'm going to take these off and um, put them on the surface grinder and take, oh, I'll take a tiny amount off each time and just see how it goes. In the chip tray, that's a can't fall any further. Right, so these two, I checked one of these, they're not hardened, um, they've been ground already, so we'll just give them a, a bit of a grind up. Either face. We're over at the um, my surface grinder. They're actually slightly different size. Let's lock them on. So I'm moving at one foul at a time. It actually hasn't even hit the second one yet. Like I said, there are different thicknesses. Okay, now we can actually bring them down a bit now that they're... Gosh, you can't even feel that. So, let's see what we're going to do. I think I'll bring them down another 8 thou. About another 0.2 of a mil. This is the only machine I work and foul in, all the rest are metric. New Zealand's a metric country of course. So I have a chart up on the wall so I can check between. Since this is my last pass on this one, in case it's enough, I'm just going to work backwards as well. Really good finish. That only made a, um, a tiny difference. So I'm going to do the same amount again. All right, we'll go try these. Taking the edges off. Okay. Much better. 
It's only a little bit extra, but it really makes that much difference. I feel like I can get a much better purchase because it's, oof, and chop your finger off. It can come around that much further. Yep, that's great. Very happy. Thanks for coming along and fixing my quick change tool post. This little quick method made a huge difference. That lever now locks properly and is in a much better position. If you're going to do this yourself, just be careful when you're getting close because it would, it would be easy to take off too much and go past. What you didn't see in the video is I stopped quite often, took it off the grinder, went over, tried it, came back, did another thou or 0.02 of a millimetre and I did that process until I could feel it just starting to come right. Some people might say, look I haven't got a surface grinder, I can't do it. Well what I do, what I would do is I have this glass sheet, I mainly use it for sharpening chisel and planes and things. Um, so I've got sanding paper um, stuck in different grades. So you could just take your your piston and once again just use the different grades and bring it down. So you could start, I would even, you could even start heavier than that. If you've got a lot to take off you could mill it down first and then finish it on these. Just another way of getting of bringing it down. But like I said, check it often because once you go past you'll be having to make new ones of these um, and do it bit by bit. Thanks for coming along. Please like and comment. It makes a huge difference and I'll see you on the next one.